Well, hello there, everybody. Cheers here. And today, we're checking out Supermarket Simulator. So, uh, this game just got released uh, this week, as a matter of fact. And uh, we'll, we'll basically go through and, and we're going to see how much we can expand this store. From this little humble beginnings here in front of us to see how big we can make it. So, as you can see here, we're starting out and, it'll, and, it, and it says here that you'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Uh, start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. And of course, to have fun. And that's what we're here to do. Have some fun. So here is our little store. Uh, we have quite the environment around us. And uh, let's get in there and see what we have to do here. So we got to come over to the computer. Our first um, objective here is to order order goods. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you have a couple different options in here. Um, you have management. So we have licenses. We have bills. Growth. Um, hiring. Storage is locked for a thousand dollars. And customization of the store is coming soon. So licenses, you have different products that you can buy. Or it gives you, I should say, additional products that you can sell, buy and sell. And then, of course, we have bills, because why wouldn't we? And expansion of the store itself. And it looks like there's quite a bit of expansion here. No shortage of that, so that's good. And then your bank. So you have the ability here to take a, a loan if you need to. And here's our market. So we'll go ahead and and uh, complete the first objective here, which is, like I said, to buy some goods. We have $50 to buy some goods. So we may as well start with the, uh, I don't know. I would say we'll start with the cheaper items. Okay, so we're going to basically take ourselves down to no money here, but the point is to get some variety on the shelves right away. So that's what we want to do here. So we'll go ahead and come on out here and grab our stuff. And then we have to stock it. So we have powdered sugar. I want to put that over here. Yes, I know the exclamation mark was over there, but... And then you just dispose of the box in the trash can outside. And um, we still need to set our price, but we'll do that in a second. I'll put the bread up here. And we'll put our... Pasta up there. Now we have to go ahead and set all the prices. Start with the one here that is uh, trying to get our attention. So our average cost for this is a dollar fifteen, and you can see the market price down there. And I always go a little bit below. I think what we'll do is go a little bit below market, the market price. So we'll do four dollars and sixty cents. That'll give us a profit of three dollars and 45 cents okay so we are ready to go we have our prices all set here on the four items four different types of items that we have to offer go ahead and open the store here just by clicking a uh, neon sign and we already have a customer all right powdered sugar flour hello sir and now we're in cashier mode so okay one dollar one dollar and eighty cents have a good day sir thank you for your purchase thank you for being the first customer here at supermarket 
Really hoping we could change that name down the line. Okay, now we've got a credit card, four dollars and sixty cents. There you go, ma'am. Have a nice day. Another credit card, seven dollars and thirty-five cents. Well, at least we're selling things. Rather quickly, might I add. All right. So we're up to $29, almost $30. Once we get a little bit more money here, we'll, um, we will go ahead and purchase some additional things. So our current objective is to complete 25 checkouts. We've completed five of those 25 checkouts at this point. So we, we basically just need to complete that before we can move to the next, next objective. We've got two more potential customers coming in. All right. So we'll go ahead and get our, our oil stocked here. Uh, we'll put the oil over here. Four dollars and thirty cents. Now, see, I didn't get the chat. I didn't get a chance to set the price before they picked it up, and so it applied the price of what what it was by default. That's a little bit of a problem. I no sooner put that out there and had to go throw the box out. And in that time when that customer grabbed the bottle, I didn't have a price set yet. Guy has bought me out of flour now. What I like about that too is see how when we already had we already had that item on the shelf and so it just it automatically sets the price back to what you had it before. So that's good. You don't have to like rethink or reset that again to be like, hey, I need to change it. And we got a few customers in now. Actually everything is closed. So the uh, nine o'clock, everything closes, which should also mean that our store should be closed, but it's not, and that's okay. I'm still here to uh, finish up closing, so I'll check these people out. You can't order things after nine o'clock. So let's go ahead and let's close our store first of all, and then we'll close out the first day here. All right, so after day one, 24 customers, and everybody was satisfied. We got 134 store points. Ended the day with a profit of $40.58. $90.58 is our ending balance for the day. So on to day two, we have daily expenses now. We'll receive daily bills starting today. Make sure to pay the bills using your computer before their due date or they'll be paid automatically. And just as a note, the more electrical devices, the more expensive the bills. Makes sense, right? So we'll go ahead and open up the store and we'll place this order. We have now completed the 25 checkout objective. Our next objective is to purchase a product license. And um, curious to see how much that's going to cost us. I don't remember when I looked at it. We'll have to see. So let's take a look here and see how much a product license would cost us right now. Okay. So for the product license, the first one is $200. And then again, that would enable us to sell uh, different products. 
additional products. One thing too is that the product prices day to day they can change. So um, one, that's one of the things that I need to look at now. And see if I need to adjust any of the prices. Um, you know, one, you don't want to be shorting yourself, but you don't want to be selling everything so high that you don't sell things. I didn't close the store, so if people are going to come in, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure they're, they're uh, taken care of, even if it's technically after hours. So our store is closed. Let's close out the day here. 22 customers, 120 store points. Everybody was happy. Uh, total profit, $106.62, just to keep the shelves stocked in at all with everything that we have to offer right now. $197 is our ending balance. So we don't have the money at the moment. To get the license... Uh, and we're also going to have bills. I should look at that too before we open up for the day here. Okay, so I'm good with our prices for right now. So we'll see how today goes. So we have enough here to buy the license and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this is really going to give us quite a bit in, way, in the way of options. So that's good. Um, so we're down to $50. Couldn't find cheese. I haven't had a chance to buy anything. See, this is the problem. When you when you buy that license, now, now the customers are saying, oh, I can't find something. You haven't even had a chance to buy it yet. So there you go, guys. There's a lesson for you right there. You buy a license, you better have the means to freaking buy, uh, you know, get the products right away because otherwise you're going to start getting customer complaints. So that's a little bit annoying. Not only that, but some of the stuff that um, they're looking for, as you, as you can see in the objective, we have to buy a shelf for a fridge. We don't have a fridge. I would imagine cheese and milk need to go into a fridge, not on the shelf. So let's close this. Let's close the store here for the day, and we'll finish out our day. So again, once we bought that license, now we have negatives in terms of the customers, but we had 24 for the day, 122 store points. Closed out the day with a negative for a profit with an ending balance of $151. So we bought the license to get the other products. Um, now the objective is to get a shelf or a fridge. And ideally I want to get a fridge. So if we look over here, go up to furnitures. So a fridge is $200. Um, now, right now, we don't have anything on the shelves uh, right now. So we now we have all these different things we can now sell. Cheese, milk, eggs, bottled water. So these four things right here you need a fridge for. As you can see, it says the display there. Coffee and tea. Tea, which is way very expensive. Um... So let's take a look and see. I know I need cereal. I need bread. Uh, I need oil. So I need cereal, bread, pasta. Okay, so we're up to the uh, ability to buy the fridge. I want to do that because people are complaining that they can't find the items that they want. And I want to get every I want to make everybody happy. You're going to come to supermarket as it's affectionately called right now and I want you to find the stuff that you're looking for. So let's get our fridge set up here. I'll place that over here. Okay. Of 
course, now we're going to have to uh, find the means to to actually uh, put product in it. These are bad stats because we purchased the license, couldn't couldn't stock any of that stuff, and you got 10 people looking for products that we didn't have, 129 store points, negative profit, $97 is our ending balance for the day. At least use the, some of the money that I have now and we'll at least get our fridge stocked with something. At least you get a lot of a lot of it for the, the milk. So we're gonna do two dollars. We're gonna try and sell our milk a little bit low. See if we can get it to sell. And our powdered sugar. And I know I gotta go through and check prices yet too. Cause I don't know where the prices are at this point. Okay, so with everything that we sold today and how day five played out, 26 customers, but again, 11 of them looking for things that we don't have, 145 store points, ended the day with a positive with profit $58.95 and $156 is our ending balance for the day. Okay, so taking a look at what we have, powdered sugar, flour, oil, pasta, cereal, and bread. And then over here we have milk and our bottled water is almost gone. So we're going to take some of that and uh, Buy some new things. To set some new prices here. Okay, so we got like one gallon of milk there that we'll just have to put in. So I want to make sure that we have room for the for the cheese. We have to set the price on that too. Now we have our coffee. I'm really excited to have coffee on the shelf uh, because I feel like that's going to really give us a nice, hopefully a nice boost. So we'll sell the cheese for um, $3.25. Actually, we're going to go $3.35. I mean, this stuff's got to earn me some money. Same with the coffee. I can't... I'm not willing to go too low on that. So we'll start at $10. That'll give us a profit of $3. Okay. So we have milk. We have bottled water. We have cheese. We have coffee. We have pasta, cereal, bread, flour, oil, and powdered sugar. Really would like to have one of everything here, but that's the thing. Um, right now, we have one spot down here. So we could put eggs there. May as well maximize our space. Let's just take a look and see what it costs to expand. I want to check on that. I need to buy things, but oh, we got bills to pay. Okay, there we go. So we would have had enough there. 
uh, to expand. I would rather spend the money on the things that we need right now and get the shelves back in order, obviously, because without that, we're not going to be able to do anything else. So we have our order ready to go for the morning, but here we go. 25 customers today, 17 satisfied, 8 we're looking for things we didn't have, 129 store points, profit being 279, 387 is our ending balance. Okay, so we have enough to expand the store, so we're going to do that. Because then that way we're meeting the objective, right? That's the point. So we'll expand the store. All right, there we go. And uh, we're down to, like, no money now, but that's fine. Well, we have $307. Now we have two hundred and eighty two dollars. Um, cool. So the, the sign moved from the left side to the right side because we expanded the store. So now we can move our shelving back. So we've got a slightly bigger store now, but we unfortunately don't have the funds to to buy anything else. So after seven days. We have an ending balance right now of $282. We ended the day on a negative because we expanded the store. So again, spend money to make money. 19 customers, eight didn't find what they were looking for. 143 store points. So after our first week, you can see we had prices of things that went down. So we're gonna have to do a price check. And as of now, as you can see, we no longer have any objectives once we've expanded the store and we bought a license to be able to sell more products. We bought a refrigerator so that we could sell some refrigerated products. Now, uh, basically, I think it's just up to us to keep expanding the store. You have to keep adjusting your prices, check your prices every day. That's really important, obviously, because you can cost yourself a lot of money. And as we saw, uh, when it comes to stocking a brand new item where you do not have a price set yet, it would really be beneficial to you to not stock it when there's people coming into your store because you will definitely lose money as we did. So lesson learned on that one. We won't be repeating that mistake again. So until next time, guys, my name's Jairs. Thank you very much for watching the first video here in our Supermarket Simulator series. If you like what you've seen, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.